Well, good evening again. This is Dr. Bill Wyatt with the American Orthodontic Society. And it's uh, late in the evening here in beautiful Glen Rose, Texas. And I thought I would talk to, to each of you about torquing the teeth when you're using this large arch wire that we have started using years ago, where we just put this arch wire on the outside on the buckle and the labial side of the teeth, and we can do most anything we want to as far as expanding the arch wire. You can expand it in the bicuspid areas or in the anterior or, or just the whole thing at the back. However you want to do the arch, this is marvelous what you can do with this, uh, this large wire. And so we started using this, and I was teaching it, and, uh, uh, young people uh, started calling it the Big Daddy Archwire, so it's been named that ever, ever since. We've been using it for a long time. And there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. And torquing the teeth when you're using this archwire is a critical part of it. If you really expand the arch very much, you really need to know how to torque it. And on some of the articles I've seen print written on it, people uh, didn't seem to understand fully how to torque the teeth out as you expand them. Now, <coughs> excuse me, if you just push out on the teeth, they're going to move out like this. Well, if it's on the lower teeth, you've got to put torque in there to bring the roots out with the crown. And if it's on the upper teeth, I'm just going to let this be the roots and this would be the crown of the teeth. If you're just pushing them out like this, well, you've got to torque the roots out first or go, go along with the crown so that you end up with the roots under the crown, see, or over the crown, and, and opening the airway. And this is a critical point about palatal separation is to get an airway for people who have grown up and have not had the proper airway for some reason or another, allergies or whatever, if they put their tongue in the bottom arch and they breathe that way when they can't breathe through their nose properly, the bottom arch spreads out, you get cross bites and all, all sorts of things, and you get to chew in your cheeks and your tongue and everything. Like I said, so we need to expand people, and and once the uh, the arch doesn't go, it gets even worse as they get older. See, it spreads out more. So let's get on with this torquing of the teeth of the big uh, daddy arch wire, and I'll, I want to show you some case. Uh, well, just I might have want to show you a case with it, but we will go ahead and. Now I'm going to have to get my little arrow going here for you. And I need to draw some stuff on it here for you. Okay. Now this is... <coughs> we use a, an 036 arch wire right here. That's a, a point o three six R. We can use a point o. 4 O arch wire, round stainless steel. And you that's what we make these arch wires with. If it's just a small person, we use an 036. You could use something smaller, but it might not have enough force to really do what you need uh, in doing this. Now we take a, a wax bite of the case and It'll show up the brackets and everything in here. And we make the arch wire. Uh, you, you can buy this stuff that sticks of about 14. I don't know how long. You kind of have two of them. They'll make two, two arch wires uh, about seven, uh, about 14 inches long. I guess the round wire you can get that. And now you make the arch wire, say we're going to do one on the lower down here, you'll make it fit 
the dentition, where you were going to start using it. And then you go down and we'll show them after they're made and everything else. But you've got to t learn how to torque these teeth. If you're going to expand these teeth very much, you need to know how to torque them. So you need to work up before you start a lot of expansion in, in this arch, you need to work up into where you've got a rectangular arch in there. And now the rectangular arch is what we're going to put the torque in uh, and bring this out with the re rectangular arch. Now, here's the way you just get a straight stick of this stuff. You can bend it over. Now, this is a turn, the uh, turn, but you can use a broom handle if you wanted to. And just bend this wire over it and get this to where it fits around your arch there. And you've got a wax pattern. We show you how to. We show you how to make those too, and it fits over those uh, teeth like that. And then you can put these hooks in the bottom that uh, pull it into place and everything like that. Now let's go on to the next deal. Now here we we don't put the activation in the wire, see, until you get it where it fits in here. Like, like this is, I think this is a, an upper one. Well, yes it is. And it'll go in the headgear tubes like this. And we may put an extension back here to, so that it carries the second motor out with it as it goes, but it won't get the torque on the second motor unless you get it banded, banded and join it in, in the, have the arch wire go back in it. If you put a bracket on it, and then that'll carry the second motor out with the first motor. Now, but make it fit it, and now you take it out and expand it about, oh, three quarters of an inch something like that on each side and you hold it up here when you push this one in this one will go out now and then you have to set this in here so it may have it may have about that much expansion on it or you can put whatever you need here to expand it but you can expand the arch wire back here or you can make it come in and fit here and expand these teeth in this area uh, we don't normally expand the upper teeth with it. We just leave it. So we're expanding from here back. Now, when you get your rectangular arch in there, or it fits in here, you take it out now and you catch it right behind the cuspid tooth. We don't want to put this torque in the cuspid tooth. And you get it with two pairs of you get a pair of, two pair of pliers, catch it right behind the cuspid, right in here, and you go back in the back, and you twist that wire all around. It's called progressive torque. And I, what I like to do is take an arch wire to start with, and you can run it on back, and you can bend the arch wire up like that. And you, you, when you torque it out here, it'll show you exactly how much torque you've put in it and the torque goes from the cusp and it may go back kind of a, a shape like that. Now if, let, let me uh, just get a plain piece of up here and I'll just draw on here. Now like we're we're drawing an upper, we're doing, doing an upper case and we've got this arch wire coming in on both sides of these teeth. And we're wanting to expand these teeth out because they have worn their breathe through the mouth and maybe their lower teeth are coming up and hit, hit, hit like this, you know. Or maybe they're even worse than that. Sometimes the lower one is out this way where the uppers are supposed to be over the lower teeth. So we're going to try to expand these teeth. Now these teeth have roots. These upper ones have three roots. 
and the lower one will have uh, a couple of roots and here maybe you can see that now if we go to expand this out we want to carry the roots with us because this is your airway up above these roots and everything it's what uh, holds it in there so on on your brackets now that you've got a rectangular wire in there uh, you're going to have a little slot coming out you know something like that on each tooth it's a rectangular slot and in our case we use a 018 by 025 in other words the arch the bracket slot is 018 on the vertical and horizontal is 025 or 25 thousandths wire in there and we like this small wire because we can put it in and do a lot of things except it doesn't have power enough and neither does your 022 to expand laterally and you go in here to expand it laterally now we want this tooth to go out bodily if you just ex pull pull on the tooth it's it'll lean out this way and every time you move a tooth it tends to exfoliate some so as it comes out this way it kind of pulls these roots out and this lower the lingual cusp will come down and touch earlier and that's not what we want we want the tooth to come out solid i mean just like it was up there and bring the airway out with it so what torque are we going to need to put in this tooth to, so that as we expand it, the roots are going to follow the crown out. Now, uh, an old way that I've been doing this for years is just to try to think about it now. This, this is the crown of the tooth, and these are the roots up here, and we're going to have a, a, a slot in the uh, arch wire for the arch wire out like this. And now if we want this tooth to come out with the roots, in other words, we're going to have to put some root torque in this tooth. So the wire would go down like this, and then we would come in here, and you'd have to bend it up like this to get it in here, and that would put start torquing the roots over. Now, so a lot of people think, well, I'm going to, uh, the torque's going to go from the cuspid back through the motors and it'll turn like this and it has, needs more torque at the back than it needs in the front. So the, the wire comes to this slot and it's about something like that and it, it'll have the uh, slot here. Now you've got to bend that wire up and engage it in that slot and if you just are not sitting there asleep, you think it's going to push the roots out this way. If you put this rectangular wire in there without something to have lateral force in here, the roots are in bone structure. Now watch if I bend this thing up and put it in here, and I have what I call buckle root torque, but if you don't have something stout in there, instead of giving you buckle root torque, the crown of the tooth will move in there and the roots of the tooth will stay in the bone and they tilt this way. So you get lingual root, lingual crown torque instead of buckle root torque. So we've got to come in on top of this now and put something strong that'll hold it out there and that's what we do with the big daddy arch wire you can move these teeth any way you want to i mean you can just make them do anything you want if you will learn how to bend the wire and put the torque and stuff in the, in the teeth so the big daddy wire we would expand it way on out here and when i push it in i push it in with a i don't know whether you can see this 
uh, in here, but this is a, a, a Dautrix gauge. We can push it and we can tell how much force that wire's got on it coming in. How much force does it take for me to push this wire in? And you take those lower charge wires and put them up there and you can put enough force to expand anything. I can expand adults, uh, children, anybody. This is alive. You can expand their, their palate and their uh, dental structure by using just a big old wire on the outside. It's simple to make and you put it in when you need it, take it out when you don't need it, and just go with your regular braces. But you need to learn how to put this what we call buckle root, buckle crown torque and root torque, but uh, you can get it mixed up sometimes. But it needs to be like this. And you tap that thing in there. Now you bend it up and put it in there. If it were just in the air, it would move the roots this way. But the roots are in bone, and that makes it move the crown opposite from what you might have thought it would do. Now if you get on the bottom arch, and we we're, we're talking about expanding the bottom teeth down in here. It's reverse of that. Instead of having to deal like this to do it over there, you come on the bottom, you do it like up, and now it's now it tends to move the crown out, but instead of the crown going out, you got to hold the crown. Uh, the, instead of the crown going, it'll go in. It'll go in on the bottom. I'm sorry, I got this uh, wrong. And so you're going to have to hold this thing up. Uh, that it's going to be this way, and we turn it down and put it in here, and this will tend to do this to the bottom arch, where the teeth would be up the direction, other direction, and it'll move them in. So uh, to get buckle root torque. We have to actually fix it where it would actually move the crown in because the roots aren't going to move in the bone structure down here is easy. And so we have something real strong out here that keeps this out here. And now you look at the tooth and you watch it as it goes along and you make sure if this has got too much force going out here, then this lingual cusp will rise and it'll start leaning out here. If you don't have enough, you need more torque, then the lingual side will drop and this will come in contact. You can look at it and tell what you need to do to bring these teeth out. So we can expand the arch as much as you want to and bring it out and get the airway go with it and the bone structure will go with this. You, you're doing a whole group of teeth together, the buccal bone structure will go out. And we've shown cases where they had a, a scissor about the teeth, the lower teeth fit inside the upper teeth, and then you put enough force on that, and then you open it with a block, and then you can bring those teeth out, and they carry their bone with them. So we'll have to, I've got this video showing all of that stuff, if you just get it and get out and look at it. Now let's get back to where we were, and I'm going to see where we, all right, you, you have to kind of play with this. If this is the first time you've ever put one of these big arch wires in, don't put it on some uh, person that's not going to come back. You know, and if you had this thing expanded way out like this, and you pull it in that much on each side like that, and you've got a lot of force, and you keep that tied into the bottom teeth down here too, then these teeth will just go out. And you can, we don't have to wear these very long. You can put them in for a couple of months or something like that, and you can expand the arch wires on nearly anybody. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. In, in young people, I just, it's very easy. You can almost do it with your arch wire, but your arch wire doesn't have enough lateral force in it 
to carry that out. So let's get on here through with a little more of this, and then I'll just hush up here. Now there, if we want to expand this out, you can bend the arch wire. When I pull it in place, it'll hit here, but it'll be have play in these teeth. Then it'll have greater force here. It has virtually no force out here that's just riding. But you can expand these teeth, or you can expand the ones back here. Or if you wanted to, you can run your expansion or run up in the corners in there, just where you make it and put it in there. But you need to have your rectangular wire in there, and you need to learn how to put that torque in the upper and lower teeth. And so the way you do it is just, is just visualize this the tooth. It's the crown. And then you just think of the, uh, the slot of the, uh, that's in the bracket there. And now we're going to take this and we're going to make this go like I said for the upper. And we put it up and that looks like it's going to be buckle root torque. But if you don't have anything holding it, I mean, you need to bring this out. And as you, as you pull this out, this buckle root torque brings the buckle roots out. In other words, if you just put the wire in there, it would make a lingual crown torque. But now we've got something really pushing on the lateral side, and so it's holding it. And so there we just bring the whole root out. So I hope people can understand that. This is, it's, it's tricky in thinking about it, but just have some way or another you can just look at it like this. If this is the lower root, or if I just say this is a crown, and I want to, I want the the crown of the tooth to go out, and I want the roots to go with it. Then I do re reverse that deal, and here it'll make it look like crown torque, but it would pull it. It'll pull that in. So I hope you learn how to use the big daddy arch wire. I haven't put a lingua arch in anybody for years. Uh, it's just a lot harder and lingual arches down there. You don't have any control of the torque either. You just push the crowns and it's lean out like that. This way you're using your, you'd have to use a lot of torque on this outside if you're going to use a lingual arch to get it to do the same thing. So let's look at a little bit more of this and I'll say good night. It's an 036 wire. Now here's the way we attach the uh, lower arch. We make a loop in this wire down here and you clamp it with it and hold it and now you tie that to your arch wire. And so it's bringing both roots, both these teeth out and all these teeth along here. Now if you make it fit it where it doesn't pull much here but pulls more here, it'll expand the bicuspids and the cuspids out, wherever you, whatever you want to expand to match up with your, uh, match your arches or coordinate the arches in there. So let's go on to another one. Now that's that up close. We tie that with a good strong wire and hold it and that comes underneath here. And I like to put a good rectangular wire in here and do my torquing with that. If you're going to just barely move them a little bit, you don't have to worry about the torquing. But if you're going to move them very much, you really need to learn how to get into a rectangular wire and put the torque on that rectangular wire, progressive torque. You catch on to the cuspid up there, and then the tail end of it, you bend the wire down, and the torque will just kind of like that on the tooth. So I hope that uh, it's hard to get across what's in, in in your mind and, and, and show people so they'll be able to, be able to understand it. Now, uh, the best thing to learn in here, if you do it a time or two and you get some experience, but do it on somebody that can't get anything else and just put a little bit and watch it 
watch what it does. Get them back. Don't have them come back in any two or three months. That's ridiculous. Uh, when you first put this in, get them back the next week and look at them, or even the next few days, and look and see what's happening. And when you learn how to do it, and you've got the experience, you can look them in the eye and tell them, this is what is going to happen. I don't care what AI and all this uh, stuff uh, does, but that's the way I check things out. Very gently at first, and then once I saw what it did for sure, and I thought it out hard first before I did it, before we do any of this stuff. Now, here's what we do the upper one now, make a kind of a dog leg in it, and go into the head gear tube down here. And you, if you're going to uh, do much expansion, you better put a bracket out here and run this wire on carry, so it'll carry that tooth there out with the rest of them, see. And that's, and here it is, uh, <coughs> both of them in there, but they got a round wire on there. And uh, if you learn, <coughs> excuse me, my throat is about to wear out here like some of the rest of me too. Uh, but here's the way it looks on them with both upper and lower. And you can literally expand anybody at any age. And if you just put a gentle pressure on there, the bone structure moves with the teeth. It comes out like that, like that. Now you're not trying to, you know, when we put palatal separators, it, that bone goes with the teeth, them too. We uh, try to separate the suture. But if you can't get the suture separated, you can put stuff like this in and expand anybody up into their 90s, I'm sure. I'm sure my arch would expand like that. So. Let's uh, see if there's anything else here on here. And this is just the way we make the wire fit. And now we kind of, this is just a super way to make it expand the anterior part, but I don't even use that anymore. You, know, you got these bars out here and you pull it over, you can spread, spread the lower anterior out if you want to with that. Uh, I'm gonna run through that pretty quick. And uh, the 04 and 036 wires in there. And this is up close. And with the head here, if you're going to expand very much, you need to put a bracket over here and run this arch wire here, too. So now, this one has a second and first molar and everything up through the cuspid. And it'll expand the cuspid a little, it'll have to angle in like that, but the anterior part it does very little to that. And there, that's the way it looks, and that's uh, looking at it from another angle. So I hope you get something from this, and uh, drop us a note. Just uh, if you have a question about this, I have people that help me some, and uh, we'll try to answer you back as as soon as we can. If I know the answer to your problem, it's hard for me to know without having a real thorough diagnostic uh, view of the person and sitting there looking at them, talking to them. But I'll tell you what I can about, about the case. So thank you again for watching and I'm going to close out and we'll say goodbye and y'all join this. <laughs> Join my, <laughs> my uh, deal here. And if you want to learn this, and you can get to the American Orthodontic Society there in, in Grapevine, Texas. That's Dallas, Texas. They, they have men there that will teach you most of this. If they don't know it, we'll get on them to learn it. They, uh, you get some of the good guys there that teach it. And uh, they know how to do this too. So thank you now, and I'm going to close out.